To perform this work, you will need to first safely raise and support the vehicle as well as remove the under engine tray. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Bolt drive belts are driven by the main crankshaft pulley, red arrow. The power steering pump is located on the lower side of the motor, yellow arrow. The belt behind the power steering belt drives the alternator, blue arrow, and the AC compressor, green arrow. Both belts are kept in tension by turnbuckles, red and yellow arrows. On the power steering pump, begin by loosening the 13 mm bolt on the top of the power steering mount, red arrow, hidden behind the pulley. Then make sure the turnbuckle is clean and free of grease and oil, yellow arrow. Use two 13 mm wrenches and separate the double nuts on each end of the turnbuckle indicated by the red and yellow arrows. With the nuts loose, use the 13 mm wrench and turn the turnbuckle so that it loosens tension on the belt. If there's not enough slack in the belt, Use a 13 mm wrench or socket and remove the mounting bolt on the pump indicated by the red arrow. With the turnbuckle free, you can move the pump towards the center of the engine, red arrow, and remove the belt. Installation of the new belt is the reverse of removal. To replace the alternator and AC belt, begin by using a 17 mm wrench and loosening the pivot bolt on the AC compressor indicated by the red arrow. Use two 17 mm wrenches and separate the double nuts on each end of the turnbuckle, red arrow. With the nuts loosed, use the 17 mm wrench and turn the turnbuckle so that it loosens tension on the belt. If there is not enough room to remove the belt, you can disconnect the turnbuckle from the AC mount and slip the belt off. Installation is the reverse of removal. Tension is set when there's a quarter inch deflection at the longest point in the belt. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.